Well, the water temperatures on the beach today was about 53 degrees. It fluctuates this time of year between mid 40s to low 50s. Hypothermia can set in uh, in that water condition. 30 minutes is all it takes for hypothermia to set in. So if you're thinking about hitting the beach and cooling off from summer like weather in the water, Make it quick and don't go in too far. If you're out, you know, out over your way, above your waist, and you're out there actually swimming, oftentimes um, you be, you lose your ability to swim, and that's when a lot of the drownings uh, occur. So we recommend that people, when they do swim in this early season, uh, we recommend they go in for short periods of time, and uh, we recommend they they go waist, you know, up to the waist or so, and and not out over the head. Marine Patrol says if you're taking the boat out for a spin, a reminder to wear the life jacket. For those finding relief from the warm weather inside with the fan or AC, ISO New England, which runs the regional power grid, says they aren't expecting any issues over the next week. We're likely to see demand go up with warmer weather. However, with the next couple of days, we're still seeing things well below what we would call the seasonal peak and how much we would anticipate. So ISO New England says if energy shortage is going to be a concern, they try and let power companies know in advance so they can plan accordingly. Live in Manchester, Marissa Tansino, WMUR News 9.